Hi, it's really with Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Pisces is going to be all about you, Ruby. No, in it's going to be you versus them. So I was just going to say it again. Um, yeah, it's going to be you versus them. So do you on the left, them on the right. Uh, you can swap the energies over if you want to, if you need to. Um, yeah. I'll do these oracle cards and then we'll resonate with um, right away. If you want to swap it back over, then you can because uh, energy is it just energy. So whatever way it sits with you is the best way for you. It's for your summer and rising. Uh, drop me down in the comment if you resonate and like and share my video. And also subscribe, that'd be really good. Don't cost anything like that. And hit the thumbs up at the end, please. Let's get the video out of there. Um, high pricing. So we'll do two more and then we'll begin. I think you've got both your planets in retrograde at the moment as well, Pisces. So I reckon there's a lot going on in your chart as well. There's a lot going on with Scorpios, there's a lot going on with Leo. I think it's quite a lot going on there, go as well. Alright, let's begin. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Pisces, the overall energy is of uh, the man card. You could be dealing with an Aries, um, but yeah, uh, the man card is an energy of obviously male energy. Um, he's on his own in this one, he's going over a rainbow, he could be in a bit of a dream world, um, but yeah, it could be some. You could be quite anxious, quite well. You could be like in a single energy, Pisces, on your own. Um, yeah, you could also, because there's a husband, there's four of these cards, two women and two men, uh, there's a husband and then there's the other man, this is the other man, this is you waiting for your person to come back, yeah, you're waiting for the clouds to come over, but I've got a feeling that maybe your person's either got a husband or a wife and this is causing them to be like cunning like naughty behaviour with that snake card. Yeah, somebody could even put be putting a magnifying glass on. It could be you. It could be some karma surrounding the situation. Someone's definitely it's their dream there. They someone believes it's actually written on the stars. Uh, there could be children involved in the situation. Uh, and you got a wish on it as well. Yeah. So on both sides there's another person from a previous relationship. Is how I'm saying it Pisces alright. Pisces, so the overall energy, not the overall energy, the energy between the two of you is it could be documents and and letters that need to be written and maybe you're both set sorting out legal sites if you're married, or at least one of you is. I'm going to Maybe somebody has shone a light on a situation that has actually become like a burden, really. Maybe somebody who's been fighting a lot. It could be to do with a Virgo. Pisces, because I've um, got the Hermit card here, then.
too many there. I've got to take those because that's <laughs> where the letters are called. Should rely on the situation because somebody had started to work on their own. Maybe a Virgo had started to work on their own, or somebody with a Virgo in the chart could be you. Pisces, what's on your mental state? Is it you actually believe this person is your person? Um, but you also believe this person's a player. And I feel like Pisces, you're wanting them to come and speak this truth. If they don't, you're just going to put your hand up and say, Do you know what? I'm just going to pass. It's all right. Uh, your person, their mental state, they're kind of doing this out in public, Pisces. So maybe they're finishing out a relationship in public. And maybe you're seeing that, which is why you've got your hand up. Maybe this person's already done this before. Because that isn't really your energy, you're a lot more uh, in your emotions than that, but not in this card. <laughs> yeah, they could be being out in public, and it could be to do with the mother or the father of the children. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're having an ending with this person at the moment. That person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But yeah, I feel like Pisces, what they want to do is then come into you. There's three women in this card, so either your person could have more than just you in, in a cycle anyway, put it out of the On their side there's two, on your side there's one, so they've got another person, definitely. Could be the same sex uh, relationship, it doesn't have to be a two women, it could be two men. Yeah, so judgement happening in this situation at the moment, because somebody was being too generous to this Muslim person on their side of the and let it swap those. Okay, your emotions, Pisces, you're worrying about what people are saying, people gossiping, people talking about you. You obviously get, you don't like that energy. Maybe you like to keep your business private, yeah, your three of cups business, so the third party situation, maybe it's all out in the open now because of that situation over there. Yeah, you'd like to go have a new beginning in love with your soulmate. Could be a Leo. Get one more card on that, Pisces. This person could have two children. You could have two children. But I think the Leo's probably got two children. Seven of Pentacles. You could have been sort of like feeling like maybe you weren't quite good enough for this person. Um, or we could have an Aries minute. You could have an Aries so You could have gone towards it. An Aries. Well, uh, this Leo was finishing up what they were. Yeah, you could have some sneaky behaviour with that person. You could have even thought about having a, a, like a high level of commitment with them. That somebody was a player and somebody got found out for being a player part things. Yeah. And I feel like... So maybe you've... Uh... Okay. And then we've got the King of Pentacles. So... Pisces, did you go towards a Virgo, towards a Capricorn? You've got a divine couple over there. Well, you could actually be married. Um, your person could actually be married. Uh, what about the King of Pentacles and Pisces? Oh, okay. It's in your emotions. So maybe you're just guarding your mind at the moment, Pisces, and... Uh, Keeping yourself, you know, you're enlightened to a situation, but you're not talking, coming forward of it. Um, maybe you're thinking of this person as, like, you know, marriage material, but you're waiting for them to make these endings happen. You have five pentacles. But you're feeling left out in the cold. Let's see what the person says. 
Your person feels lucky. It's not like once they end this relationship, they can move towards you, Pisces. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Leo cards. Wants to move towards the King of Cups, you, Pisces. Um, and they're looking straight at you. And in their emotions, they feel like that work. They feel like you two can be together. Yeah, the High Priestess. Page of Wands sending you passionate messages. I feel like you, they, this, this person over here is almost like, yeah, this new starts like a guarantee in their life. Um, maybe there's been an emperor in the mix, so prizes. You had the emperor over there, and now we've got the emperor over there, yeah. And then the six of swords. Maybe somebody, maybe this Leo knows you move towards an emperor or you move away from an emperor towards this Pisces or towards this Leo. Yeah, this person felt left out in the cold and Leo, um, they felt very in their heads as well. They obviously knew they'd done something to deserve it probably. And the Four of Cups is feeling like discontent and bored in a situation because someone had choices and they was, that left them single. So you're both kind of feeling the same thing. What you have to offer this relationship is, you see this is your complete happiness, Pisces. You really want to be with this person. Yeah, you want to offer them a little bit of passion. Maybe your relationship with this person is very sexual. Yeah, you've got the Emperor and the Empress. You've got the Empress there. Maybe you're feeling like you want a passionate message over there because you want to tell this person it's your blessing. You've been watching them online. You've been very in your head about the situation as well. Maybe at one point you weren't offering any love at all, but I feel like now you're wanting to manifest. Um, after a heartache, you could have had a heartache with an Aries as well, Pisces. You could have Aries in your chart, that's why it could keep popping up. Okay, what your person has to offer is them, um, oh, they're coming towards you, but they don't look like they are, I don't know. Yeah, this person's frag out some illusions and lies. Have you been with an Aries and this person's now found out and now they're moving away? Yeah, what a fortune. Yeah, your person feels like there's been a big change, something's happened. Yeah, five of wands in their hand. Having an ending. This person's ending it with you, Pisces. I think they feel like you move towards another person. Maybe even Sagittarius with that uh, temperance card, but yeah. And they feel like you're coming in so slow to say sorry. They're not coming in to say sorry to you either. I feel like they feel like you've done it. You, you cheated on me. Yeah, on a situation they would, you know, thought would be ten of pentacles. They chose you, Pisces. They now want justice in a situation. They said the situation is a burden. Okay, you'll see. Your fear is that this is your destiny. And their fear is, is kind of the same thing. The conference, they feel like they're being guided towards you and now they're not. Um, yeah, you're feeling like it's too many burdens after you went and had a passionate start, maybe with a family situation, maybe you went back to somebody from your past, Pisces. Maybe somebody got children with. Maybe you did what this person's done to you. Yeah, your person could be a Sagittarius hoe in their chart. Yeah, they, they're feeling heartbroken now as well. Yeah, because they looked on the internet and saw a truth about you. Maybe having a new beginning and the stability. Yeah, and then there's this harvesting cutting out. You both need to cut things out if you want to be together with it. Yeah.
tell the truth on the religion the lies and to their parties have a complete ending of this cycle. You have to bring down some walls as well between the two of you. Can't they? I don't think you really can really say a lot when you're both on the same thing. You know, maybe there's an ending that can happen with an emperor, with an Aries. You could be ignoring this person then, but yeah, you might be very guarded against this person. You both may be. You may also be in a hangman and ignoring the situation a little bit as well. You know, you're in love. Maybe you don't like to face things like that, Pisces. Yeah, if you want this Leo in your life, though, and you, you believe they need two cards with that Leo, because the Aries needs to go, and you need to have endings and come out of this in your head energy that was in reverse. Yeah, otherwise, this new beginning in love is not going to happen. Yeah, if you both want to have a relationship and you don't want to walk away, maybe some people need to step up the speed a little bit and also you need to stop having the last laugh because it's not really getting you anywhere with it either of you, to be honest. Anyway, Pisces, I think now you have to end your situation and then maybe you can move back towards each other. Alright then, I'm going to leave it there. Lots of love and light. Take care, Pisces. Bye-bye.